Hi everyone, Stacy here. Today I'm doing Avatar The Last Airbender Inspired Nails. For my index and pinky nail, I've already applied a light blue polish and let it completely dry. Now I'm going to be making clouds using a white acrylic paint on a dyeing tool. Next is Appa. So I'm starting off by taking a grey acrylic paint and I'm going to be making a semicircle towards the tip of my nail. Then I'm going to put a second layer on top so that's really opaque. Now using a cream colored acrylic paint on a toothpick, I'm starting to make his head. You want to trace out the top of his head first and then make his hair over the grey part. You don't want the edge of the hair to be perfect so just use light fast strokes. Now using the same color on a toothpick, I'm going to be making the eyes. So you want to start off by making almond shapes. Then while that dries, I'm making the nose using a black acrylic paint on a toothpick. And now that the head is dry, I'm taking a brown acrylic paint and I'm starting to make the arrow on his head. You want to start off by making a stencil so that it's easier to just connect the dots. After you finish making the dots, just connect them and fill it in. Now that the white part, which is going to be the eyes, is completely dry, I'm taking a black acrylic paint on a dyeing tool and I'm going to be making another almond shape inside of the eye. Now using a dyeing tool dipped into a black acrylic paint, I'm starting to make his horn. So you just want to make a dot where you want the horn and then drag upwards. Next is Momo. We're starting off by taking a white nail polish and making two ear shapes on the nail by dragging down from the edges of my nail towards the center. Now I'm taking a brown acrylic paint on a striping brush or you can use a toothpick and I'm starting to make the inner ear. You want to make sure that there's a little bit of the white ear left on the outside and just make a triangular shape towards the edge of your nail. Now taking a lighter and a little bit more orange acrylic paint, I'm starting to make stripes on the inner ear. Then you're going to do the same thing to the other ear. Now taking the same white nail polish, I'm starting to make a semicircle towards the edge of my nail, connecting the two ears together. You also want to slightly overlap the brown that you did before so that it blends everything really nicely. Now I'm just taking a toothpick dipped into a white acrylic paint or you can use the nail polish and I'm just fixing up the edges of the ears. Now taking a brown acrylic paint on a dyeing tool, you're going to want to make his face. So start off by making two dots in the center of the face and then working outward, make a really fat heart shape. After that is completely dried, I'm taking a black acrylic paint on a big dotting tool and making two dots to make the eyes.
Then after that is completely dry, I'm taking a green nail polish and making a dot in the center of those previous dots. And lastly, I'm making the pupil using a black acrylic paint on a toothpick. Last but not least is Ang. So I've already applied a skin tone color to my nail and let it completely dry. Now using a blue acrylic paint, I'm starting to make dots to outline the arrow that's in the middle of his head. You're pretty much doing the same thing as you did for the Appa nail. I highly suggest turning the nail towards you to make the arrow so that you can see how straight it is and how even it is. Now I'm making his eyes using a brown acrylic paint on a dotting tool. And now taking a black acrylic paint on a toothpick, I'm starting to make his mouth. Now which is the scariest part for me is making his eyebrows. So you want to just make some curved shapes above the eyes. Remember, eyebrows are not twins, they're sisters, so even if they're not perfect, that's okay. Then you want to make a curved nose. When you're done, don't forget to use a top coat on all of your nails. So that's the finished Avatar The Last Airbender inspired nails. If you have any future suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, check out the info box for all of the things that I used and or mentioned. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!